amigos. I'm Paloma. And I'm Mati. And welcome back to Latino Soy Yo. Hola mi gente, bienvenidos. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Latino Soy Yo. Paloma, how are you? I am doing very well. How are you, Mati? I'm good. I've been uh, stressing a little bit over exams lately, to be honest. But you know that uh, that that sometimes happens. What are we gonna What are we gonna get into today, Paloma? Today I'm excited. we are talking about Latino stereotypes. There are a lot of them. We're just kind of going to be debunking those, and also the Latino family dynamic. Now, before we get into the episode, quick disclaimer: these are all just our experiences, our opinions. Uh, doesn't reflect those of. Ryerson's or Spirit Lives, just what we've what we've seen and heard. Yeah. <laughs> so don't 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 come suing us, guys. Right. <laughs> don't come suing Ryerson because uh, we'll, yeah. we'll get in some trouble. But uh, but yeah, let's 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 dive right into it. So yeah. I mean, Paloma and I were talking, uh, you know, because before the episodes, we kind of brainstorm a little bit, uh, you know, talk about what we're, what we're gonna do, and we were t- thinking about you know Latin stereotypes and. The first thing that Paloma asked me was like, have you ever been stereotyped? You know, and I'm like, Paloma, I'm white. Like everyone thinks I'm like just the most basic Canadian blonde hair. Um, but I guess that goes to the first question. So I want to know, Paloma, please tell us what uh, people stereotype you as. Ooh, okay. There are, <laughs> I honestly, I, I sound like um, this YouTuber my sister watches. Honestly, to be honest, um, but <laughs> honestly, in my experience, I haven't had that much stereotyping Mm -hmm. but what i've had is kind of ridiculous and i guess i just kind of thought it was jokes or you know you know people Mm -hmm. jokes you're like oh it's funny but it's not (laughs) when you realize later like "Mm, that wasn't great um but so for example in let's say high school there were lots of i told i I tell people i was mexican and there was like oh so your are your family's drug dealers or like do you have a (laughs) cousin named carlos and like I do have a cousin named Carlos, but they're not drug dealers. It's like, hold on, like, hold on. Only half of this is true. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, dumb stuff like that. So it's like, er. but um, <laughs> one big thing, because I'm, let's just, everyone's heard this. If you're new to the show, you know now I'm mixed. I'm half Mexican, half white or Canadian English, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so people would see me and my mom or my sister and my mom without my dad there so people i guess wouldn't put two and two together mm-hmm. so when i was a kid i get i i wasn't aware of this when my mom told me later like <sighs> people thought she was my nanny oh, or they'd be wow. like yeah it was so weird That's and tough. um so my sister there was this girl i guess at school who went to school with my sister and literally didn't even ask i think she maybe asked if she was adopted or just thought oh because you're adopted or something like that but Anyway, she thought my sister was adopted. Poor Daisy, man. Poor I, Daisy. I'm like, what are you? What? Like, but she's not that different than you. I'm talking like look, skin color wise, hair color wise. My I've mom and sister. Daisy. No, oh, Daisy. My mom and my mom and Daisy. me and my sister. We know we look the same pretty much. She just has not curly hair. She has straight uh, hair. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's what, like, that's mom's side. You think mom straight hair jeans or dad's? Uh, Probably like the wavy ish for my, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of wavy, not fully, yeah. straight, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's that's most of my. Oh, I'll 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 add on later. <laughs> Why don't you go <laughs> into your stereotypes, Matthew? No, for me, like obviously, I think every time. First of all, whenever people ask me, you know, where where my background is from, I always say Colombian first. I think it's kind of like because I get a little bit more of a reaction out of people, mm-hmm. and I, I think I look for that because it's like. <laughs> You know, you look at me and you're like, yo, Colombian, like, yo, dog, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, no puede ser, you know? Um, <laughs> if I were to say, like, Argentinian, then it's like, you know, like, oh, okay, like, yeah. yeah. But yeah. obviously the biggest thing is the same thing. It's drugs, it's cocaine, you know, it's it's Pablo Escobar, yeah. oh, like, you know? Um, but for, I had a buddy in high school, and again, this is where you're like, oh, it's like a joke, but it's like, oh, yeah. like, you know? Um, <laughs> he always, like, he always, he was like, uh, he would say, Oh, uh, yeah, you're Colombian. Hey, uh, bada boom, uh, Mexico, uh, tacos, tacos. And I was like, oh, buddy, no. like, like, they would confuse the food. And that's one of the biggest things is that Mexican and Colombian food is pretty different. Like, well, Mexican yeah, everywhere in Latin America, I would say, is like quite different in terms yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's the staples, you know, you have like yes. the rice and stuff, but I mean, there's like 
you know, we don't, they don't have like Colombian tortilla, like, uh, uh, what is it? Tacos and stuff. You don't have That's tortillas with every meal? Exactly. Yeah, no. It's not, <laughs> yeah, there's no we, box of tortillas there for you? That's I'm stereotyping. Like Cholula's like red hot sauce or whatever that is. Like, it's not even a stereotype. Like it's just there. Anyway. But, um, but yeah. Yeah. That's so funny though. Cause yeah, there's always drug lords, man. Can make it so hard for everyone else. I know, like, I know. Because for they're you, it was them. Pablo Escobar, but then for me, it was El Chapo because he was also when we were in high school. He was like in so just I wouldn't say popular. Let's say in the media a lot. He was out, man. Like right? that guy's like recent. Like he's yeah. Not, you know what I mean? So it was like a lot, a lot of that. Um, and then one thing I forgot to add was um, okay. So I was talking to this guy <laughs> once. <laughs> So stupid and <laughs> oh my god, Cologne guys! Like, oh my god. Shut up. So really dumb. But so I was talking to this guy, and um, we started talking about like where you're from because I just am always curious to know. Mm-hmm. And he's yeah. like, "Oh, I'm Italian and Irish." I'm like, "Okay, cool." And then, um, how about you? I'm like, "My dad's Mexican, my mom's Canadian, or something along those lines." And he's like, "Oh, so your dad's a straight cholo?" Oh my god. Oh you did tell me this. You did tell I me. did tell you this earlier. I was like, um <laughs> uh, that's a no. problem. <laughs> no, he's yeah. not. I, that ended quickly. Like, yeah, I was gonna say, I was yeah. like, yeah, that uh conversation kinda halted at that point. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Oh. Which cholas they're a real thing, but not everywhere. Yeah. And that's I was like, no, no. People, let me just say, people are people are pretty stupid. I would think. Um, you know, some some stereotypes. I don't know. Like, I don't know if they're true or not, but you know, some of them kind of uh, uphold to to reality. Like, yeah. uh, I know a lot of people think like, oh, like they think of Canadians. They're like, oh, like they live in igloos and like you know, like Isn't live crazy? up north. American. My cousin. They, lives some of them the fully state. believe it. Some like, of them fully believe it. Yeah. They're like, yeah, like igloos. Like, and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, nope. Like um, yes, there are igloos in Canada, but not throughout yeah. the whole country. Not, any, not anywhere here, near here. So yeah. <laughs> but um, um, I was just gonna say that there's never been a point, at least in my time, where I've actually felt like pretty offended. Like right. I, I know like other people go through like a lot worse, but you know I always like take the stereotypes with like you know a little bit like they're always like humorous. You know, like it's all it's all for jokes, and you know even sometimes myself I play into it. I forgot. Yeah. I was going to wear the... Oh, man, I forgot, guys. I was going to wear, like, a, a Colombian, uh, like, sombrero, the one that they wear during Carnavales. Uh-huh. But I forgot, so we might have to save that You're for the next episode. You're still wearing a hat, anyway. Yeah, little fisherman's hat. <laughs> the hair is not looking good right now, guys. Just, uh, <laughs> just so you guys know. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I was going to ask you, mm-hmm. what stereotypes... Or, I guess, we'll call them stereotypes. But what do you think... Yeah. What do you th- which stereotypes in Mexico do you think are true? So you, you said that there's like maybe a cholo. What about maybe like language or yeah, like what, what would you say is life? Um, well, one thing is um, when people do Mexican accents or impressions, they use the word way a lot, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which That's is used one. a lot. My dad uses it a lot. My, I, I know a lot of other people who <laughs> use it often. Yeah. Um, like I, we were trying to do. For Olas, we're doing thinking of some slang and stuff, and and every time, like, and you had to say use it in a sentence. Mm-hmm. Every slang word that I came up with, and if I use it in a sentence, the end of every sentence had way or like a pronoun oh or something. My God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I can't end it any other way. That's um, so funny. Yeah. What else? What else? There's also the whole thing like, oh, Mexico's so dangerous, which in a lot of parts it is not a lot, but unfortunately. Mm-hmm. It is dangerous, but also not all of it is. So that's like a big generalization. Yeah, yeah. So like to some extent, it is. It is real. I, I have more, but you can you can take your turn. <laughs> no, but I agree. Like, I mean, I think that's one thing that I think people people always uh, assume certain countries, especially uh, Latin America, Colombia, even they think, oh, like it's written by like the guerrilla and stuff. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, look, like, wherever you're gonna go, there's always like places, no matter how nice of a country it is, or you know whatever it is. There's always going to be certain like barrios that are a little yes. bit more dangerous than others, um, but you know, luckily for me, I've never had uh, anything happen while I was in in Colombia. But I do have stories from my cousins, you know, where like yeah, you know, certain stuff has happened. But then again, like 
like my cousin like if you're like walking home like after 3 a.m like you know what i mean like it's kind of like you gotta be street you know, smart yeah you gotta that's be street one smart thing, that's one you thing be to be smart? oh okay the one thing about being latin is that you are street smart being from mexico really like, oh man like compared to some of my canadian friends or other people i know this is walk around like we, we go to school downtown and you know you kind of have to be street smart when you're downtown yeah, yeah. and um <laughs> So like, I mean, I would I just know. get used to it. Like, if I saw we have the the safe injection site on Victoria yeah. Street, like I would just be like, ah, like you know, these guys, you know, they're doing their own thing. You know, I would, yes. I'd, I'd yeah. be pretty calm. But, but like, you got like, for example, let's say I know we're going a little off topic, but it's it's funny. Like, there's um, we have you know when we go on a trip, we'll do a timer thing for the lights. Or like, you can make sure all the cars are in the driveway. My right. grandma at her house in Mexico is a gate. Or like uh, a to her front door. Okay. Or uh, that you have to like lock and see if ring a bell. My grandma comes yeah. out and locks it. Yeah. Or like instead of barbed wire on all the houses, every house has broken bottles at, at the top and like uh, on their in Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Basically every house. Yeah. Basically every house has broken bottle glass. Whoa! Sort of I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Ah, oh, wow! I didn't know that. In Colombia, they don't. Uh, I don't. I mean, sometimes there's fences and stuff, but at least where I live at my grandma's house in Colombia, it's. I mean, there's a <laughs> like unless you hop the fence, the main door that opens is like from like the like 60s, so it just creaks like super loud. Yeah. So you know, whenever you hear that, like it's you know someone's coming in. Yeah. Um, so that's our security in Colombia. Pretty high, <laughs> high tech. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then the other stereotype I would say is from Mexico is like the tequila, which yeah. I think they, they do have really good tequila. Yeah, to be okay. <laughs> tequila, <laughs> beer, tacos. Those are honestly, it's a lot like you can stereotype that, but it's also really big deals in the culture. Like mm -hmm. um, tequila is a really big thing. And it's like kind of an art form in Mexico if you like make tequila, or, you know, mm -hmm. Every, everyone just drinks it. Tacos as well. Re like you eat tacos all for everything <laughs> not for everything there are obviously other meals to have in mexico that's not the entire cuisine mm -hmm. but they are a big part of it you know when you say tacos like are they usually like do you usually have them for like certain occasions or stuff like what Just, else like, like, all the when time. You have, like events like do you i'm trying to think oh what about mariachis the okay mariachi people <laughs> yeah those guys, those guys are mexican like you know? well yeah they're, they're from there. mexico they're always there yeah, no, well, that's, yeah, that's where they, quote, unquote, originated. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, they're from Mexico. I know a lot. They're, honestly, they're a big thing. There's this whole place in uh, Mexico City. I think it's, like, kind of like a Socolo town square thing. Mm -hmm. um, like, an area where you'll go. And there are just d tons of different mariachi bands. <laughs> and you pay them, like, you listen. Or if you go to Mexico and you're in a, because they're all about hustling. You know, anywhere you can make oh, money. Oh, right? Yeah. 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 So, like, if you go to a rest, uh, restaurant or a hotel and you're having dinner, they'll come and they'll play. And like, if you, you're always like, "Oh, no, thanks." Or you tip them, right? If they play you a song. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. I got we you. had them for. Well, my we also happen to know. Uh, we have a, a mariachi connection. <laughs> let's say mm -hmm. in Toronto. So we my we had them for my my parents had them for their wedding in Mexico. We had them for my first birthday, and then um my one of my mom's big birthdays. Maybe my keen say I can't remember. Lots of events we've had them for. They're just they're just the go to yeah. <laughs> go to yeah. entertainment source. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're fun. Everyone likes them. No, that's so. true. I thought about you know funny thing. I thought about asking out my uh, girlfriend to prom with a mariachi band. That'd be but that so never cool. happened. That never happened. I was like, this is probably too expensive. <laughs> that would like, be good on TV. That would be a good like <laughs> TV episode. Like uh, yeah, know. but it never happened. Mm. But. Yeah. And another thing that I think about when I think of stereotypes, as, at least in, in both of our backgrounds, Mexico and Colombia, mm -hmm. is the religion. Yeah. Like we're super religious, at least. I remember I was going to say I have a or I had a little doll. I was telling Paloma about this earlier. When I was a kid, I had a doll and it was like a mechanical one. And when you would squeeze it, it would play a Spanish prayer before I go to bed. I think it was Guardian Angel, guardian, my Guardian Angel. And yeah, that that was a big part of like my childhood growing up. I used to I used to go to church a lot. Obviously, with the pandemic, it's been harder. But 
I was saying, like, I think in earlier episodes, you know, there's churches all around Colombia. Yeah. Everyone's like, hey, vaya con Dios. Like, oh, how you been? Like, oh, todo bien, gracias con Dios. Stuff yeah. like that. Um, and I, I, I really ad- admire that part of, of our culture because people are very, like, family oriented. Um, and, you know, it's something that's like you don't see a lot here. Um, I mean, you do, but I feel like there it's definitely more prominent um, than here. Yeah, no, churches definitely. Because also, it's crazy. Every time I go to Mexico, I'm like, Canada is such a young country. Like, Mexico is. I don't, Why? Because of the buildings? Or what do no, you No, like, well, Canada's like, how, like, not even 200 <laughs> years old yet, right? And so it's <laughs> like. But Mexico's like hundreds, like, it's an old old country uh-huh. with a huge so then i go there and there are all these old churches there and you're like mm-hmm. whoa this is pretty cool um yeah. they're really elaborate churches too like um the one i was baptized in is kind of the all inside of it i always used to you brag about this in mexico was, yeah oh, no. um well yeah because my dad's family is the catholic family so it just gives me more sense mm. but um so yeah, the whole inside of it is like gold. Like it's not made of gold; it's a gold leaf. <laughs> it's like that would be yeah, that wouldn't cool. be there for a while. I used to brag about that a lot when I was a kid. Um, what else is that's there? awesome? Lots of huge old churches, and it, it's very cool to me. That's cool. I gotta go to Mexico. You you gotta take me. Yeah, you gotta take me somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of other ones. I know. Oh, in Argentina, in Argentina, it's the meat. Yeah, like everyone thinks of Argentina, they think of like. You know the steak and asado, the chori pan. Yeah, yeah. There you go, the chori <laughs> chori. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things in Argentina. And then everyone says che, che and mm. boludo. Like che, I've never che, heard che. che. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Che, I guess it's like you know. That's so it's funny. Just, it's kind of like way. It's the yeah. Argentinian way. <laughs> it's <kinda> yeah. Just... <laughs> that's oh man. Yeah. But yeah, like you're saying with the family dynamic, I find like um. I think I think because I'm I'm half Latin, I kind of have a bit more of an outsider perspective and like analyze it more. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that Latin families are maybe more. This is also just what I've seen, but um, like closer, they go kind of hang out with one another a lot more than I think. I mm-hmm. don't know Canadian families do. What do you think? I would say so. I mean, I think what we were talking about earlier was. Um, when we when we have food, like when we have dinner or mm-hmm. supper, as they call it here, <laughs> um, I ne- I've never said supper. Anyways, um, but yeah, we. I mean, my family, we've always eaten together. You know, it's us three, me, my mom, and dad. It's nice. And I find it really weird when I go to other friends' houses, uh, friends' house, and they're like, "Oh, like, do you want to have dinner?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And then it's like just me and him, or me and her, yeah. just have dinner, and then the parents are somewhere else. Um, I'm like, "Yo, like, aren't you gonna like, you know?" And by your parents and they're like, yeah, oh, yeah. man, like they'll they'll figure it out. I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> you know? Um, but even at my grandparents' house, it's a big like that togetherness. Every event, I think you might have been telling me this before, but every big event, whether it's like, you know, a birthday party, like someone got married, whatever it is, it's everyone goes to uh, the abuela and abuelo's yeah. house and the uh, terraza, which is the like the backyard area, mm-hmm. um, that's where everything is, you know, everything is held. You know, yeah. and then we bring caterers. And honestly, now that you mentioned the mariachi, we've had mariachi come to the house in Colombia. That's so funny. They, you know, they've played for us. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's 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 a big thing is the togetherness. What about yeah? What about you? For sure. Well, I totally agree with the whole abuelitos house. Like, um, my dad has a lot of nieces and nephews because he has a lot of siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we'll all <laughs> cram into my grandma's kitchen. Oh, that's cute. Like, and like we're sharing chairs and stuff, and Aww. and then like this is for example maybe we'll have dinner. Someone will bring like a huge thing of tortillas and meat, and because that's how you buy it. if you're buying in bulk tacos in no, bulk. No, 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 let's yeah. say <laughs> like they only sell them in bulk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why would you buy like like a bag of like tacos? I don't know. And then so yeah, you could do that, and we'll have dinner. But then it's really fun because um I don't know if it's just because we're there or it's kind of what they do. They're always at my grandma's house, but um. You know, it's like nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Dinner already have having pan dulce and coffee. That was that was fun. That's a good time always. Um, but then also, I noticed when I was let's say thirteen, mm-hmm. I, I went to a Pitbull concert. One of the best concerts of my life. I know you <laughs> love Pitbull. If there's ever a Pitbull concert, go. It'll 
it was really cool. <laughs> it's the so, five. Oh my god, what a guy! Just, we'll talk about him in our our music episode. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, save that for later because this is yeah, this is three hundred five. A lot it was of a time. great day. But um, so I went with my mom, dad, sister, cousin who was visiting from Mexico, and then my mom's friend and her kid. So it was like kind of a, it was a family affair. And mm. then I went, and you know, most people be like, I'm not embarrassed by my parents, but you know, some people are like, oh, I don't want to be seen with my parents, or you know. <laughs> that was literally me. I have to tell you a story after, but yeah. Okay, ahead. okay. But so I went and like, you know, we're having fun, we're dancing, but then I see like latin friends that i had there too i didn't know they were going but i saw them there and they're also there with their moms and dads like <laughs> that's so their cute. families it's really funny that's cute i was gonna say so my story was i guess this also goes to the aspect of i guess just like the family dynamic but mm -hmm. um when i was a kid my mom every time she picked me up from school she would expect me to come greet her with a hug and a kiss mm -hmm. and i guess this also goes with i think in mexico they greet yeah. like you greet people like, saludar saludar with yeah, like, like a everywhere. kiss on the cheek and it's very like you know it's very warm you know in argentina it's you know it's usually a kiss on the cheek um even with like you know even if it's just like guys to guys or whatever like it's yeah. super normal um but anyway so my mom like when i would come my light just oh, went out her light went out <laughs> when my mom would my come light. pick me up um she would expect like a kiss on the cheek and she would expect you know mati to come say hi to his mom and yeah. i remember like that would be so embarrassing because I didn't see the other kids around. And this was, this was in elementary school. So this was before high school. Yeah. And I remember like my mom would come and she would be like this and she would look at me and she would be like, like she would like, Oh my God. Beso, un beso. And I'd be like, Oh mom, like people are watching. That's you so know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and she would, and then she would make a scene like, Matia, ven aquí, dame un beso. Oh my God. And I'd be like, and then people would start looking. So I realized I was like, okay, all you have to do is go in, like get in, get out. Like that was my mission. Like I'm all coming, hey mom, little kiss, and then like I was, we're good. Uh, and I still to that to this day I do that because like now now I don't care because like I'm a grown man and I'm like okay, like my mom, like you know what I mean, like yeah. I don't give a fuck. But when I was a kid, that definitely I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but my mom was definitely a stickler when it came to those type of things, um, <laughs> and I find that funny. But you mentioning, you know, like. The, the whole, you know, being at Abuelita's house and stuff. Man, I miss it. Like, fuck COVID. <laughs> I'm like, I want to go back to Colombia and Argentina because I was looking at the pictures of, uh, like, the quincho, like, yeah. that, that little oh, place yeah, yeah, where yeah. you have, like, the meat, where you cook the meat. And I was like, man, like, there was some such such good memories happen in those in those places. So, yeah, hopefully we can get this uh, vaccine soon. But that's, sorry, I was, you know, ranting a little. You're gushing. <laughs> 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 uh what's so funny also being like you know tight-knit slash large or families um my family is also not large in numbers but also size because big, like, big bodies yeah. big bones. <laughs> like all the guys in my family my mexican family are large my dad is six feet tall his brothers are either taller or around the same um and they're also just like i don't know they're big and you feel very safe when you're around them let's just say Holy. Hey. Um, but so we were, it was my quince and we went to Mexico at the hacienda that I told you about a little while ago. Um, and so we're all there <laughs> and then we went to go take photos. I'm in my dress and mm -hmm. we went like, it was big and pink and sparkly, my favorite kind of dress. <laughs> and so then we went to like the castle part of it, um, cause it's turned into a hotel now. So we went to the mm -hmm. castle part of it to get photos. And so everyone starts taking my photo, or I'm taking photos with my family. And then um, this sec a small man, this little security guard comes and goes, hey, you can't take photos here. You have to pay for them or whatever. <laughs> and my dad's like, oh, come on. What are you, are you serious? Like, are you kidding? And so <laughs> then my, my, my family sees my dad having this conversation. And then <laughs> like this, like three big guys just like walk up to the <laughs> Then his one brother comes like, Hey, what's going on? Then my cousin comes in and then my other uncle and they're all like, What's happening? What's happening? I'm like, okay, let's just take our photos. Like <laughs> we didn't care. And then we just left. <laughs> I love that. Just, it was really oh, funny. Man. Like, don't fuck with us. <laughs> like Yeah. <laughs> no, I I was speaking of like quinceañeras, I wanna ask you, like, what do you think the difference is between I guess western what is it? Where's the West? Mexico is still in the West, but anyways, but like, Canadian, North American, yeah. 
uh, party slash, yeah, party ideals? Like, what do you think the difference is? I mean, we have, here we have the Sweet 16. Right. Kingdom, it's basically the same thing. Yeah. Um, I think some have, kids have, like, a church service. I didn't mm, do that part. I just kind of mm, had, a par- like, dinner and a party. <laughs> but, is there, um, yeah. sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Is there no. the mother i know this might be a wedding i might be confusing it the the father daughter dance is, do they also do that at Keen's? i think they do i did that with my dad and my oh, one okay. i had two but they weren't big events they were just kind of i did it kind of chill all i wanted to do was wear the dress so like mm-hmm. here i had a little party with friends from school and like family from canada mm-hmm. so we like i don't know rented a place um and did some i have my mexican dance people there with me like we performed and then my dad, we danced there, um, did a little dance on, if anyone knows what that is, basically like Roomba. Um, and so we were dancing, <laughs> or like waltz, Roomba, I don't know how it was. And, um, you have the most unique like <laughs> dancing, like Roomba. I've been dancing my whole waltz? life. No, I I've know. I've been doing all different, different, different Maybe I'm just caught in the loop, but it's like, <laughs> what was it? What's it called? The main one that you do? The well, main I do dance? Mexican folk dancing. That one. That which one I did I for a while. Was. The name just seems so like. Well, in Mexico, you call it like ballet folklorico or like dance folklorico because, okay. yeah. Folk. I, the, the word folk just really throws me off there. Why? Cause I, cause folk. Uh, I feel like folk. I think of like an English or like old Irish dance, like with the fiddle. You know, like like like. Well, there's there is there's folk dancing in every country. There's in Ireland. There's like the one with the you know like the wigs, and then there's um. <laughs> Highland dancing in Scotland. Like, you know what I mean? So that makes sense. But yeah. Fair. Fair. yeah. All right, whatever. I don't anyway, want to get into too much. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I did dance with my dad there. And my one in Mexico, I didn't. We didn't really. We had a little, a, like a party after where okay. we just kind of like went hard. But <laughs> <laughs> what about parties? What about parties in Mexico? Like our age, like, you know, 19 and up. Like, what are the parties there? Beer pong? I have, have not been pong. to many. I don't have a lot of experience partying no, in Mexico because the last time I went, no. I was like 15. Um, I, you probably have more experience doing that. Why don't you tell us? Tell um, me. at least in Colombia, like house parties aren't that big. Mm-hmm. Like no one, there's no like house parties. I remember I threw a party at my house, like in a Colombia. Year or two. Or no, in here, here, here. Okay, okay. And it was obviously like whenever you go to house parties here, it's like you know there's beer pong and drinking games. Yeah. Um, uh, which I love, but here at house party, there's not too much dancing. No. Um, and I guess that goes because in Colombia or in like South America. We go to like discotecas or like clubs. That's so you know? fun. That's so gonna, fun. Oh, it's so much fun, and the music is like really good, which yeah. I love. Yeah. Music yeah. can make or break those uh, those nights, but they're always they're always really good music, and everyone's in good mood, and they don't care about IDs. Like I'm sure you know, like in in Mexico, I doubt they fucking ID you. Like I'm sure Daisy could probably grab a fucking drinks easily. She, like we went we went to Mexico couple summers ago just mm-hmm. like we had some friends down there and it was kind of it was in puerto vallarta so it was like kind of beachy okay and we went to the we went basically just a clubbing kind of like just what is what do you call it on the beach we went to different clubs in one night and oh like uh bar hopping slash yeah clubbing. thank you thank you and so we went to this one and my sister was if i was 18 she was 15 she doesn't, she doesn't drink or do anything like that but we're, sure that's what you think it. Daisy probably does. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I hundred percent no. She does not. <laughs> um, she's like, yeah, she's right. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so we went in. She went in with no problem. She also is looks. That's so. Daisy funny. and I look the same age, basically. Like she does not. She didn't look fifteen at the time. Um, so you looked fifteen while you were eighteen years no, old. No, she looked. She looked nineteen or eighteen or however old oh, I was. Okay. Okay. And so we're there and. <laughs> Yeah, we just had a blast in the club with our parents. Uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> you went clubbing with your parents? Yes. And all my other Mex- like dance friends who I was down there with. It was so much fun. Yeah, Bro, you okay. haven't seen my parents turn up. <laughs> oh, that's a funny sight. That's a funny sight. People my listening dad, to this oh, who my know God. my parents comment or like text me after and be like yeah they're, they're cool like they, they go hard it's like yeah. you need to drive them home yeah. <laughs> oh man that's funny um oh my god I, I can, i'm trying to picture that like my mom like clubbing with my mom and my dad i don't know if that would ever happen i've seen them at like <laughs> weddings and stuff yeah uh my dad is my dad's so funny because he doesn't give a fuck about like how good he is at dancing he just like goes in people yeah. love that i guess 
Yeah. It's like, it's, I'm like, I'm like, yo, I gotta go to the bathroom, like, and not watch this shit happen. Like, it's brutal. Oh, oh man, um, I love when my parents dance. It's so much fun. Like, we used to just have dance parties, and this is also just my family. I think we're a particularly mm-hmm. dancey family. Um, yeah. we just had, would have like dance parties in my, in my kitchen when I was a kid. Like, we got we had a disco ball, and if we had a fr- oh, if I had a friend over, we'd turn that on, and be like, woo, and just. Go. <laughs> that's so funny it's so much but yeah fun. that's i guess that's the biggest thing is like dancing um, yeah and I music love that. for sure because we were saying before like in parties here it's like rap and other so other things along those lines that kind and of they'll occasionally throw in like like the spanglish <laughs> version of a song so it's yeah. like if, if there's any song like the mia by drake and yeah because drake's in it yeah exactly i'm trying to think of like those like uh, you know, Despacito, but with Justin yeah. Bieber. Like, yeah, those yeah, are the yeah. one like Spanish songs they'll throw in that are not even like fully Spanish. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I find that funny. I, I honestly, to, I like music I can dance to if I'm at a party or a club or something. Mm. And so then one time I was at some party and all they were or like a club I don't remember, but they were just playing Drake the entire time. Like, I'm so bored right now. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're all just standing there and they're like, woo! I'm like, this isn't fun. I'm going to go home. <laughs> I love that. No, I dancing is definitely the best thing. And then I was going to say, like, with the, with the whole ID thing, even in Argentina, when I went, I think it was like two years back. Um, so again, I was like, what, 17? Um, and I think, the, I think the legal age is 18 there or 19. I, I can't really remember, but I remember Probably ordering 18. a beer. I think it's 18. Uh-huh. I feel like it's 18. I'll fact check that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I went and I was like so nervous to order a beer. And my cousin's like, yo, are you going to get something? And I was like, ah, bro, like they don't, like, they don't care about that stuff here. And, like I ordered the beer and the guy was like, like, do you want like a pint? Or like, what do you like? You want a pitcher? And like, I was like, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. So, <laughs> so, I, so I, I love that about, um, about our other countries because they yeah. just don't care. They don't care. They really don't. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that's a good thing, yeah. honestly. Um, my dad always thinks that here the rules are way too strict when it comes to like alcohol. Yeah. You know? but, like it's so funny because here, like, yeah, you're saying they don't really ID you, but um, mm, no, yeah, here they, they do, like, unless it depends on where you are. Like, let's say you're at a fancy place, for mm-hmm. example, they won't. But um, yeah, just any normal restaurants or pubs or whatever, they definitely will. Mm hmm which in Mexico or Argent- anywhere else in Latin America, they, I mean, they probably won't. There's a g- g- good chance they won't ID you. Yeah, they won't. They really won't. Yeah. I was going to ask you also, mm-hmm. this is a question that oh, it, it, it deserves a little bit of thought and a little bit of a okay. conversation. I'm scared. No, 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 no. It's this, <laughs> you know this question that's coming. Oh, I know where, this question. Where do you store oh. your, pots, <laughs> your, your pots and pans? in your home okay and i, I, I want to know i want to know if people do this because okay go ahead you tell them i'll tell them the story after about me asking you this like okay okay okay. i put my pots and pans pots go in different drawers in the house okay. and then the pans like cookie sheets go underneath the oven in that little drawer thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. matthew how about you why don't you <laughs> well so this is the thing i paloma was like we were talking about this like okay where do because we're talking about like, not stereotypes, but like cultural differences. And Paloma was like, "Do you put your pots and pans in your oven?" And I was like, "Like in the actual oven." Let's clarify. Yes, that. no, yeah. yes, in the actual yeah. oven. And I was like, "Yes," but I was like, "Everyone does that." And Paloma was like, <laughs> "No one does that." No one does that. Like that's just us. And I was like, "No way. There's no way." But then we talked about it, and I realized that I guess people do put their pots and pans in drawers. And for some reason, if that's just like a Latin thing. So definitely comment down below where you store your pots and pans yeah. because I thought that was really funny. I, I know it was super know. random, but I thought we should br- bring it up because like yeah. I find that so funny. Yeah, I don't think it's just a Latin thing. I think like maybe some other countries do, but I know in Canada they definitely don't. Like my at my grandma's house here, no, they, yeah. like it's in you know drawers and yeah. cupboards and stuff, not yeah. not the oven. Because uh-huh. that's what you use to cook stuff in. But you know what I realized, though? Because my dad's whole family in Mexico does that. I realized, in, at least in Mexico, because we don't use the oven for much. The, it's more the stove. Like for quesadillas, oh, warming up tortillas. Like, uh, right? I know. I made that I observation. That. Right? Well done. Well done. Thank that's you. a good observation. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, like my grandma never uses her oven. We don't bake in Colombia. Like we mm-hmm. never buy cakes. We sorry, we always buy baked yeah. goods. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like no one like makes bread. That's a good yeah stove top. Oh, all the stoves in Colombia, I guess in Latin America, or are gas. all gas. Yeah, it's terrifying. There's, there's no electric. That, I, same. It's so scary. when I when I first went right here, I have an electric stove. Yeah. And when I first went, I was like so scared. I was like, how do I fucking like you know like turn this <laughs> on? This. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And like my grandma comes like psh, like turns it on. Like she has like a match sometimes because sometimes yeah. it needs a little boost. Like it doesn't yeah. have the spark plug. And I was like, what the hell? Like this is, yeah. this is bad. like burn no, my. I've had, I've had like lessons from my dad because she has a, my grandma has a little button on her. Of the stove, yeah. So it's like I'm like, am I doing it right? Like, I just, <laughs> that's it's so funny. So dumb, but it's so funny. What else? I'm trying to think. Like, what other things around the kitchen? Are, like other things in in Latin America that are different. Well, my family, in most of my family's houses, they don't have microwaves just because they choose not to. But I think that's just them. They're like, I don't want a microwave. I think that's a Taurus but, uh, thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah microwaves. You know, <laughs> we yeah. always buy our, our uh, fruits and vegetables, though. Uh, usually there's ladies coming up and down the street in Barranquilla, at least, and they sell mm-hmm. stuff door to door. Yeah. yeah so if they have like fresh mangoes or um, avocados, yeah, those are definitely like, they literally yell and they go, aguacate. Like you hear yeah. it at 7 a.m. Yeah. Like, that's the alarm. Oh, I got Ooh, it. I, I something got funny it. to tell you after this. No, go, go, tell me. There's go. this guy. So, yeah. In Another Mexico, one? they do that all the time. No, not <laughs> <laughs> in, in Mexico, they do that all the time. Like, you know, tamales or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so, <laughs> in my grandma's town, every morning, there's this guy who uh, goes around selling gas. But like, his... Gas? Like, like gasoline. Like car gas. Oh, gasoline. Yeah. Okay. But his theme song is like basically the Lone Ranger theme song. <laughs> theme song. <laughs> like he has a theme song. He's like a full, I'm sure he's a full stereo. I've never seen him, only heard him. I'm sure he's a full stereo system. <laughs> but we wake up and he's like, dang, dang, da, 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 And we're like, and he goes, El gas. And <laughs> it's, yeah. he's a megaphone. <laughs> and it just goes so far. It's so That's funny. so funny. Yo, homie yeah. is, uh, you know, stepping up the marketing. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> other people might like have a bell or something and be like, yeah. It's like, nah, no, fuck that. Something. Fuck that lame shit. Like, I'm going to like make a beat. <laughs> like, you know, and he get Drake comes around several on. times a day. So my sister and I will just dance in her room to it. That's hilarious. That's so yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So, Again, I miss I miss our countries. Yeah, yeah. Like, but you were talking earlier about like Latin parents or Latin mom things. <laughs> what are some things in particular that you do or like some experiences you've had that are memorable? Oh, the... <laughs> you brought this up. Good, good. Okay. Okay. So this is my mom is again, this goes with back what I was saying with the affectionate thing. Very mm-hmm. affectionate. You know, she wants <laughs> She wants to be very close to me all the time. Um, side note. Anyway, uh, let me tell the story. Okay. So one big thing that she does, and I think she probably still, she'd still do it if it wasn't COVID. When we go shopping, I hate going shopping with my mom. I only like going shopping with my dad. And I know oh, people are going to oh, you're so mean. Like, <laughs> this is why. Let me tell you why I don't like shopping with my mom. When I go shopping with my dad, my dad is the type of guy who's just like, doesn't give a like he's just like okay here like buy like make sure you don't spend too much money but like buy what you need you know here's my card like i'll be walking around looking at like whatever it is you know like i'll see him with like cinnabon later like it's like, okay <laughs> buddy like my mom she's very like she has to come in with me go into the store like look like be like mati este no este and then the worst part is when i go and get changed to try the shit on and to first this is what happened like the the one case scenario is she stands outside of the like the, um, the change, change room, room mm-hmm. and she'll be like, ha, mati, que? Te quedó bien. Like, did it like did it look good? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she forces me to come out and show her. So then everyone is shopping, okay? And mm-hmm. like they see me come out, I'm doing a little like project runway for Claudia because she needs to see me in my like American Eagle <laughs> jeans. No, literally. Um, and then the worst thing that's happened is she goes into freaking change room with me like, with me i'm like 15 16 <laughs> like 
18. <laughs> like, this is <laughs> And she's like, oh, like, uh, you know, like, who cares? No, no one cares. I'm like, I care. I'm like, I care. So <laughs> that for me is the biggest thing. I love um, that. That's so I don't, funny. I don't love that. <laughs> I don't love that. Paloma. It is probably one of the most annoying things that my mom does. You know, I love her and everything. But like, man, like, give me some space. Please. Yeah. Please. <laughs> what about you? Like, there has to be something that like, oh. or even abuela or I don't know. I mean, okay, well, <laughs> okay, so um, I just, so many things came into my head just now, but um, I, I'm going to go on your shopping tangent, and um, my, well, first of all, I love shopping with my family here, they do the same thing, like, where it's like, you know, do a little fashion show, like, do you like, because also, I'm a girl, I, I, I like shopping, that's how I shop, and yeah. I also, like, I only like shopping with my family, <laughs> like my mom, okay, dad, and okay. sister. I need my entourage with me, you know? Oh, that's um, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so that's fun. But then also in Mexico, my dad's family loves shopping. Really? I was saying, oh, department stores. There's this one in Mexico. If you know it, other people DM us or comment because it's called Liverpool. And which doesn't make sense because Liverpool's in England. <laughs> It's but not Liverpool, I, it's Liverpool. Or yeah, whatever. sorry. <laughs> I love it there because I just kind of like, I like department stores. It's very clean, very nice. Mm -hmm. But so we will be in a department store for so long. Oh, like you're one of those the people. Perfume, the perfume <laughs> section, we all kind of just, there's a lot of us. So we all kind of disperse. <laughs> like <laughs> different things. Or like, um, what else do we do? We just, yeah, walk around the mall, go into different stores. My family has, we're all we just are very confident and go in wherever we want like I, like that's good. Was, no, that's my good. grandma that's good. she's like palomita y este like, yeah, like she's very she's yeah, cool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um well i'm trying to think of other things she does when she palomita. shops but um it's just so funny and then like one time we were in los cabos because my uncle used to live there and work there because he works in hotels and so we were there, and he took us on this whole fancy, like, basically the Rodeo Drive of Los Cabos. Oh, and so, balling, okay. Yeah, well, no, he we just went for fun, sightseeing, let's say. And we went, and I was 9 or 10, like, grade grade 4. I don't know how old you are in uh -huh, grade 4, yeah. 8 or 9 or 10 or something. Yeah. And so we're there. And um, my one uncle, like, I don't know where the rest of my family was, but... um. So they were all, I don't know, somewhere else. But I'm just like hanging out with my uncle. We go into, I think it was like Michael Kors or something or okay. some fancy bag store. And he keeps getting like, not like a cute little bag that you would get a 10 year old for fun. It, like huge purses. And no he's way. making, and I couldn't speak Spanish that well at the time. And I, he was so nice. He was so cool. But um, he's like holding, Palomita, do you like this one? And he's er, intense. And I'm like, Yes, I don't know. Please. And, like, he's handing me all these bags. I'm like, what do I do? A bunch of Michael Kors bags walking out. And then we didn't get any. My dad was like, no, it's fine. She doesn't need them. She doesn't yeah, need yeah. them. Yeah. He's like, Those are expensive okay. bags, right? They, they, they like showing affection through uh, presents and buying That's you nice. things. They're like, like this that. is your Christmas present. But <laughs> I like that. In That's like good. March. But um, yeah, shopping with my Mexican family is a lot of it's a, It's a fun outing. I can just see like you and like I can just see you getting chained, and, like Daisy and your dad like waiting and like you know, you've been yeah, to a like Ritzia, you've been to a Ritzia, yeah, 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 yeah. Ritzia, like the couch no. thing. You like walk out and do like a little walk, and they're like, "Oh my god, like yes." You're gonna you know? see. We will like take up the whole couch area and just my my dad loves <laughs> magazines. He'll get out a magazine and start reading. That's so. And funny. we'll just like bros chilling. Yeah, no, it's you should see the tourist family in a mall. We we know what we're doing. <laughs> that's good. That's a, that's a good thing. I, yeah. I don't like I'm a big like I'm a big uh I go in, get what I need, and I get out. Like I don't yeah. like like walking around the mall like just aimlessly. No, like, you gotta have a mission. Yeah. But I mean the mission shouldn't take the whole day. But anyways, like no. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> Depends on Torres family in Canada, we don't take all day. Especially in oh, Mexico. We like to take our time. Interesting. Experience, you know? Not about do buying find, things, but... Do you find the prices are, like, usually cheaper in Mexico? Like, a lot cheaper? Do you do a lot of your bulk know. shopping in Mexico and then, like, come here? No. Well, actually, you know what I do? My cousins have a store. And so I get a lot of stuff from them. Because <laughs> they just give me things. But, um... Okay. Uh... 
not really. I also haven't been there in a long time. Mm-hmm. So there's a store though that they have in Mexico. I don't know if you've heard of it. Pull and bear. Pull and bear. It's three words. Pull and bear. No. It's like Zara meets Forever Twenty One. I think it's affiliated with Zara somehow. Okay. But um, it they only have it in Mexico, and we went once and just had a great time. And they all have it in Spain. <laughs> um, like we discovered yeah. it. And we're like, wow, this is. This is amazing. This is really, we just took a ton of stuff. So it's mostly maybe buying stuff that we wouldn't have here in there. Mm-hmm, fair enough. How about you? No, honestly, I think I just buy everything here. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. And, and yeah. No. I, I don't go shop like I, I don't usually in South America. It's usually just like it's just for vacation. Go to the beach. Right. Um, yeah. Most of my shopping is in here. But yeah. anyways, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. What else? I'm trying to think like other um well <laughs> speaking of like the like Latin that. parent mom thing, my dad's uh-huh. mom is she's a force to be reckoned with, let's just really say. Oh, oh wow. she's yeah, she's really cool though. I really like her. Obviously, she's my grandma. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> you have to like her. Like yeah, you're forced yeah, to like her. Yeah. But um oh, I have so many stories. Like once we were driving around Mexico, I don't know where we were going. My cousin was driving us. And she's like, because <laughs> she kind of, when you go to get tortillas in Mexico from like a quote unquote factory, which is just a few ladies making them, <laughs> um, yeah, quite a factory. Go, and my girl, you get like a ton. Um, yeah. I don't know how many, it's in kilos. I don't know exactly how many they Class, just by weight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you get a ton of tortillas and you, so you have to bring your own towel or container or something to wrap them up with and bring them no home. Way. So my grandma always just has a tortilla towel with her. <laughs> and so we're driving away from somewhere. And she goes like, we're just driving. My cousin's driving us around. She's like saying hi to people or then um, paying people for something she bought, or, like just literally buying things from the car or the, like what else she, oh yeah and one time she forgot her tortilla towel somewhere i was like mm-hmm. I need guajita. like i have to go get it oh and no <laughs> like going to do something i don't remember exactly but my dad's like watch and learn guys to me and my <sighs> sister and my cousin goes just watch like <laughs> you don't do that <laughs> but like, just so watch. she's but she's really cool i have a lot of funny stories like that but I guess the last thing that is a funny story. Yeah. I guess the last thing that I'll say is there's also because you reminded me my of like when you were saying oh my my abuelita in the car like waving to people mm-hmm. like quickly before we end. Yeah. Um, yeah. In Colombia and I don't know about Mexico, there's a really big thing where I guess there's I don't know if there's it's just like people trust each other. Maybe it's the relationship already. But mm-hmm. I remember my grandma like uh, there would be a nail lady that would come to the house and like do oh, the yeah. nails. Or even at the beach, like there would be a massage lady that would come in and massage her. And if she didn't have cash on her, because you usually don't go to the cash, she's like, I'll hit you next time I see you. Mm. And the lady will fully give you the massage knowing like, oh, like she doesn't have the money today, but like she, yeah. I trust her enough to give me the money later. Um, I find that a really cool thing about like the culture, I guess, in, in Colombia. I don't know about Mexico. I feel like um, it's probably the same in Mexico. They're also like hustlers so it's yeah. like you know they need that money so you'll yeah. give it to them or something but exactly. um yeah. yeah yeah what else i'm trying to think like yeah there are so many stories like that <laughs> <My family. laughs> but um before we go any final thoughts with uh stereotypes or latin family dynamic things you want to put out there honestly if i guess my, my my biggest advice would be you know have a talk with your mom if she's like mine and she like you know barges in and stuff you know have a little bit of talk of privacy you know be like mom look i just want to shop sometimes on my own you know but if you yeah. can't beat them then you're just gonna have to suck it up and start making your own money so you can go shop alone <laughs> because if not <laughs> i don't know what to tell you it's uh it's just not looking good for you otherwise <laughs> that's so funny yeah, yeah. i mean Let's just say, what else? I'm trying to think, like, stereotypes. Some are true, some aren't. Don't make them, though. <laughs> <laughs> was it, you know what I, I mean? Know. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There's... Anyway, good convo once again, Mati. We have to Love go. Thank you all for listening to the show today. Follow our Instagram. It's at Latino Soyo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, also called Latino Soyo. Send us your comments or... DMs questions, questions concerns you know did, yeah, Paloma, like, did Paloma say something that she shouldn't have said like, you know? 
Oh, okay. Yeah. No, because at the beginning of the episode, you were like, Oh, oh right. Yeah. It, well, disclaimer. Disclaimer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah well thank you for listening everyone and we'll tune in next week for more adios <laughs>